stretch. So hopefully, like we all learned a lot about like how to make fearless connections. Um, hopefully you had a chance to already kind of like meet others like in this community, kind of like share best practices, share stories. If not, there's still plenty of time for networking. So from now on, like we have less content, more conversation, more fun and more drinks. Um, I think connecting the things that maybe like don't intuitively kind of like fit together, like happened today, like in a lot of different sessions. So one of the call outs I actually did like to make was uh, the impact of AI that we heard in, in a panel, like um, how it affects the jobs, like how like we'll all kind of like be doing stuff differently and like need to think about what we do. And then almost like as a, as a pair, um, um, pair presentation to that was like the up-leveling our strategic thinking, which was almost the answer to the what should we be doing when the machines are actually taking over the tactics. Well, up-level our strategic thinking, really thinking about what makes like the stuff that we do work, like what makes our brands, like what makes us unique. Um, and I think a key theme here was also tied to the notion of like, where do you look at? And I think the, the idea of like looking at your failures, pretty much like taking, taking this, this moment of like strength. We all always like success. We always like the shiny things that worked and like the success stories. But looking at those things that didn't work, unpacking them and really figuring out like why they didn't to grow from that. I think it's a theme that we saw there in the AI session as well as in the strategic session. And obviously in the last session, we heard a lot about how as an entrepreneur, like this is actually a guiding principle um, to kind of come out on top of that. If you have missed any of the sessions in the breakouts, given that you needed to make a choice between two, there will be recordings. So everybody who's attended will get an email with a recording so you can actually also look at the, the other sessions. So don't worry about that part. Um, we also heard the clear trend about like that the different parts of the of the buying journey and the different platform systems data like that we really need not just like a seamless customer experience that we want to produce but we also need seamless connections under the hood of like how the data flows how the various entities kind of like, play together for this to work well uh, maybe a little bit of like the newer momentum that we've heard in some of the sessions and that we've seen in the agenda is how data sharing between particular merchants and the issuers are really like the next frontier of unlocking some of those additional kind of friction points that still exist and like how to get them out of the equation. So Flow as a community, if I want to call it, like this is Flow Summit, our annual kind of like flagship event, um, really like strives to become that community that glues together the commerce, the risk and the payment professionals to, to give us a home like where we can actually share those learnings and cross pollinate. And on that note, like we are also taking this format like on the road. So there is a, we call them Flow Connects, they're local like events, not of the scale of this one, not full day events. Think of them more as like a fireside chat with like a lot of networking experience um, as part of that. So second half of the year, we're gonna kind of like roll this format out now that COVID restrictions are no longer really blocking that. So stay tuned for dates and TBD, like if people can't make it to New York, like this may be a great alternative to experience something um, similar and more local in nature. And then this is probably also a good idea to kind of like highlight after we're closing off this floor where we need to leave at, um, at about six, uh, there will be a after party downstairs, same building, so really easy to reach the upre flow, which will be fun. Lots of conversations, opportunities there. And then last time I also want to kind of give a big thank you to our sponsors again. Um, it wouldn't be possible here without them, so let's give them another round of applause. Thank you. And then before we actually head down for the, for the after party, we have a reception here at the Part of Pavilion. So perfect time to, again, show them some love, have some connections over there, and um, hang out together um, for that note. That is the last slide. I hope you all had a good time. If you don't recognize it, that guy up there with the long hair, that's me like a year ago at this conference. So I changed a little bit. That's not an AI fake, that's a real photo. <laughs> um, but with that, have a good time. Actually take the time to connect and see you all around on the floor. All right, yeah. Stefan, thank you.
All right, reminder, thank you, Stefan. All right, reminders, everyone, couple things. Um, five to six, we have the reception out here in, in the foyer, and then at 6.30 downstairs at Le District is where we have our after party, we have music and entertainment. Please wear your badge, because you need your badge to get in. Also, let's give a big round of applause to all of our speakers and panelists that did this for us, okay? All of you, and by the way, all of our speakers and panelists, if you'll stop by the registration desk on your way out, we have a little something for you, and that's a carrot for all of you to speak next year at Flow Summit 2024. Anyway, my name's Stuart Gold. Thank you so much for putting up with me, and we'll see you tonight at the receptions. Thank you. Thank you.